Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another fleet guide video. You'll be able to find this and all my other fleet guides on my Swagger for Life website. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Now, so you finally completed your profundity unlock requirements and you waited until the event has gone live here in the journey guide and you're ready to start your journey to unlocking it. Same happened for me. So let's just go ahead together and go through these four tiers and unlock profundity together here in the video now first things first like you know there's a bit of rng involved in these battles uh, like you know i needed two or three attempts in in some a couple of battles whereas the other ones i did in the first go so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work exactly because uh, obviously rng is always the name of the game but at least like unlike with galactic legends you're not wasting any tickets any energy or trying to go in and attempt this until you get it done but hopefully the four battles here I'll show you, it'll show you the starting lineups and the overall strategy and idea uh, how to use these to hopefully easily unlock profundity. I'll do a separate uh, video guide for the bonus tier um, so you can see more battles there as well. But first, let's go ahead, start off here with tier one. Uh, so this is the starting lineup I'll use. Uh, let me just show you the ships that I'll be using. Obviously, you need dash there at Relic 7. Here is the Relic 5, the other guy's low gear. I do have my Cassian obviously leveled up, Beastan as well, Wedge and Biggs. And that's it. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to use the good ships here. That's why this event is a little bit more challenging than it should have been. But anyway, we'll just keep uh, started here. They're obviously going to put Hunted or somebody. I do a few hits on AoE over here, AoE over there. We are tanking these, no issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead, bring them out of stealth, and this will now put mark on them for two turns. And now you just have to go all out here on silencer. That's why I did bring in here ghost, so we can call out rider for an assist and quickly finish off tie silencer. Without silencer is gone, they don't really have a lot of damage on their side. So now it's just a case of, you know, um, getting to your ultimate, and so you can then finish them off. So to get to your ultimate with profundity obviously you got some special abilities with outrider as well as profundity that give you extra progress towards download and then anytime you critically hit as well uh you'll be making slow progress towards the ultimate uh there we go and we got these guys out everybody's there so like who can i call for an assist uh because of the sick bomber in there it applied concussion mines and when those explode you get dazed and without Melina Falcon on our team in here, obviously we have no way of passively cleansing this stuff. Um, so it'll take a while, um, because again, we don't have a whole lot of damage here without Falcon. Uh, but at least, you know, we did get High Silencer out straight out of the gate, so they don't have any damage on their side. So now we just have to slowly work towards the downward progress. Um, the second reinforcement I'm bringing in Biggs. Cassian obviously was the first. And I'm just going after a command shuttle because it's the real threat there. Um, okay, come on. There we go. The reason why I'm going after command shuttle because, you know, it applies, as you see, healing immunity on wiring. But luckily, uh, we did have download progress finished. We were able to clean up the mess here with Outrider. Uh, we did our ultimate and now we just have to burn for these guys. They're very durable. It'll take a while. But eventually you do get down and congratulations, you got your first 10 blueprints for profundity. Uh, now let's hop over to tier 2 and we can continue our journey. Uh, so this is the starting lineup here. I'll start off Cassian instead of Ghost in this one. Just because we're going up against Malevolence. And Cassian does have a cleanse on one of his abilities. So at least we can cleanse of Buzz Droids over from uh, Y-Wing. So it can uh, live a little bit longer. But anyway, let's call here Outrider for an assist. Get those critical hits going so we make nice progress towards... Uh, the download okay let's just keep going after hyena bomber there we go let's go ahead just use basic here and this is where Cassian comes in handy because you can now cleanse of buzz droids from wiring um, so obviously you make sure wiring survives a bit longer let's go ahead heal up tenacity up on the team uh, obviously buzz droids unfortunately can't be resisted and as the first enforcement, uh, let's just go ahead and bring in Ghost. Ideally, you would bring in Phantom, but they don't allow us to use Phantom uh, in this event. So we'll just bring in Ghost, get some assists going, always target Outrider for assists, because it's basic deals damage four times, uh, more critical hits, more download progress for you. Again, let's with Cassian now call Outrider for an assist. 
We've got shield disruption on Sunfax. Hopefully we can get it down quickly, but very durable. Without Falcon, we don't have a whole lot of damage here. There goes my Y-Wing. And I think from all the battles, I would say this Malevolence battle was the most challenging one. I needed three attempts to complete it. Uh, just because without Falcon, we don't have a whole lot of damage. And Buzz Droids eventually do eat you alive without Falcon's passive cleansing there. But we got Sunfax down. I'm going to do an AoE here. They're bringing another reinforcement. Um, they brought in Maul. That's interesting. Anyway, down goes my Cassian. Ghost is barely hanging in there. Um, so we'll see if we can bring in another reinforcement. Uh, okay, we are 84% to the uh, ultimate really download progress. Um, so use the ability there, which completed the download progress. Now we can do the ultimate. Heal up a little bit. And now let's go ahead heal up again, bringing in bigs for the taunt. And now we go after soldier. I lost the bigs there. Uh, still going after soldier. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, scimitar over there, bringing in wedge. And finally finished off Volge droid as well. So definitely tier 2 was the most challenging one, just because you have no way of, apart from Cassian, to really be cleansing of those buzz droids. So don't get discouraged. Give it a go until you get through. Let's hop over to tier 3 now. And actually tier 3 and 4 were kind of easy to be honest. Really I think that tier 2 was the most difficult. Um, the other ones were, I think were, were I found quite easy once you figure out the starting lineup and what you need to do. Again starting off Cassian for the cleanse so we can get uh, that healing immunity off our Y-Wing so it can start recovering protection. Uh, but that, uh, let's go ahead use the special ability here start working on y-wing it'll taunt anyway so might as well go after it uh, we can't go straight for anakin they were too fast out of the gate now let's go ahead see if we can put shield disruption perfect uh, let's call out try the first is just keep hammering y-wing and especially now when they got shield disruption on them okay here comes the assist y-wing hanging in there they can't critically hit us uh, let's go ahead and clean up Y-Wing so now we can uh, heal it up with Outrider and we're pretty much almost back uh, to full strength well let's see what I've got for us come on Y-Wing hang in there buddy hang in there we've got some help coming along the way uh, let's go ahead again bringing in um, Ghost as the first reinforcement um, but unfortunately there we do have days still on Outrider and Cassian so I'll just I guess I'll call Y-Wing for an assist. Maybe if we critically hit, we recover. There we go, some protection health. Uh, now I can call Ghost for an assist here with Cassian. We slowly started recovering protection. So it was really important there to bring in Cassian so you can get rid of the healing immunity over on your Y-Wing. Uh, so you can keep it alive a little bit longer. Uh, let's go ahead now, do this, heal up a little bit, get reinforced hull over on Y-Wing. Use a special attack over here. Unfortunately, critical damage immunity there uh, stopped us, you know, from critting, slowing down our progress. We can hear dispel critical damage immunity from Sergeant. Here comes their bombing run. Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, let's just keep going. Okay. All right. Come on. I need the reinforcements here. Let's bring another reinforcement in a moment. Uh, probably bring in bigs in case you lose Y-Wing, you've got another tank in there. Uh, we can get some assists now because we've got target locks. Uh, we'll just keep going. Unfortunately, Day is a little bit slowing down our assists and things like that. Here comes the healing immunity again on Y-Wing. This time they did get it down, hence why I brought in bigs as my second reinforcement. Uh, just that we can survive long enough here that we get to our ultimate and then we should be good to go here. Alright, and there we go, ultimate ready to go. Let's go ahead, download progress complete. Let's get away with those plans for the Death Star. And now we just have to clean up the rest. And, you know, this should be now straightforward. Bringing in Biston, finishing off Y-Wing. Now we can go after Anakin uh, without, you know, tanks in there to get in our ways. And just finish off Fives, finish off Rags. And this is pretty much easy as well. Once you bring in Cassian so you can clean up healing immunity from your Y-Wing. And that's it. We've got more blueprints here for profanity. 20 more. So we got 49 total, which means that tier 4 grants 40 blueprints. And funny enough, tier 4 I found the most straightforward of them all, even though it was the last tier. Um, starting off with Ghost here, we don't need an immediate cleanse there from Cassian. Um, so we'll just start this lineup here. And what you want to do is just go after Sea Bomber straight away. 
because otherwise uh, what will happen is uh, you know it'll get uh, days on you and everything so I'll just go ahead gain tenacity up um, so then they c we resist all those concussion mines also here when we are hitting them again resisting all those concussion mines so we don't get days so we can keep assisting attacking out of turn so this is kind of the starting strategy you want to use here get tenacity up and then they can't do anything to be honest to you uh, you take down the sieve bomber <laughs> they put a taunt over on the TIE Fighter, so we'll just bring in Cassian, dispel of all of that stuff, and we'll just call here Outrider for an assist. Keep going after TIE Advance, so we can then start shaking off those target locks. Okay, there we go, do an AoE. Now we go halfway there already in terms of the ultimate progress. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, call an assist over an Outrider, that's why you do want to get rid of uh, the sea bomber just to make sure that you can call assists and things like that. That's why this was really straightforward CG was kind of kind enough not to start off with a tie bomber here in the starting lineup But sea bomber if sea bomber were in there, I think this could be a lot trickier That's why they did not include it. I think in the starting lineup. We'll see if they reinforce with it or not uh, Okay, they brought in tie interceptor uh, Lost their y-wing Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead download progress complete. Let's go ahead heal up get away with those plans for death star then they have to follow us chase us and then we can just go ahead here finish off these guys going after uh tie interceptor first just so it's st it stops spreading foresight and doing aoe's and all those shenanigans going after pulps next and then we leave the tie fighter to the end let's just go ahead call an assist and there we go this is now tier 4 completed, you got your 40 blueprints uh, now for your profundity, which means congratulations, you completed your journey to unlocking uh, your profundity. But unlocking profundity is you, or just, I would say, half of the journey complete, you've done your requirements, you unlock profundity, but now profundity is at 4 stars, and as we know, we've got this monthly event, uh, usually at the end of every month it comes, uh, where you get 10 blueprints per battle and then if you want to do more you have to refresh for a thousand crystals to get more so depending on you know how many crystals uh, you want to burn every month on this how fast you will get it to seven stars um, so let's just go ahead let's see how far we can level it up at four stars uh, obviously i do have my currency uh hoarded up i never go below 10 million of, sh of fleet currency just whenever then ship is released i have enough currency to go through and in terms of prestige you know i built it up over the years i've been playing so much so i don't really have to worry about prestige at all so you can see we can't really max out uh, a lot of abilities so definitely at four star profanity is not that great i think at five star it becomes a, a lot more viable um especially you can bring in an extra reinforcement as well but hey still four star profundity it's still profundity it'll still do uh quite uh, well uh so in terms of as i said before we've got this other bonus tier now that you did unlock it so i'll do a separate video showing you the bonus tier battles i did i'll have four battles there for you just to show you the approach i was taking because also bonus tier isn't the most straightforward but, you know, once you get your overall strategy down, I think, you know, it was pretty easy to do. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the bonus tier video. But until then, have fun, enjoy life and may the RNG be with you, my friends.